Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Giordano and my pronouns are she, her. And I'm Karen Cirillo and my pronouns are he, him. Karen and I are both admissions counselors here at Pacific Northwest College of Art. And today we're gonna to give you a general overview and history of the location of our college, our buildings, programs, and resources, as well as walk you through the application process and financial opportunities. First, we are located in downtown Portland, Oregon, in a neighborhood called the Pearl District. This is our main building called the 511. PNC is a part of the Association for Independent Colleges in Art and Design. This means that we're one in 39 leading art schools within the United States and Canada. We are private, nonprofit, and regionally and nationally accredited. PNCA was founded in 1909. We started as a painting and drawing club in the basement of the Portland Art Museum and have grown over the years into what we are today, which is just over 600 students, including our undergraduate and graduate programs. We occupy Portland's historically registered original post office built in 1918 and began operation in 1919. This image in the background is the interior of the 511 building, which is the building in the previous slide. Though it looks like two separate photos, it's actually just one, highlighting the original ceiling in the historic hallway, along with the atrium and skylight that was installed after we had moved in. And in the foreground, you can see PNCA's mission statement, which I'll go ahead and read. PNCA empowers artists and designers to reimagine what art and design can do in the world. PNCA students balance studies in the humanities and sciences uniquely tailored to students in an art college with hands-on art making in studios and labs. Our undergraduate students have 11 majors and eight minors to choose from, and they benefit from an interdisciplinary collaborative environment throughout their fine art and design education. We're also very excited to share that PNCA will join Willamette as an independent college within the university. The relationship will deepen the connections among art, design, and liberal arts and sciences, building a foundation for new thought and expressions. PNCA's equity and inclusion statement reads, as a learning community at Pacific Northwest College of Art, we value, respect, and appreciate difference in gender, sexual orientation, religion, race, ethnicity, national origin, disability, class, and age. Your first year at PNCA is called your foundation year. This year is for you to gain a general understanding across multiple media and gather varying skill sets to set you up for the rest of your undergraduate experience. You won't claim your major until your second year, but rather throughout the foundation year, you'll take classes like 2D design, 3D design, basic drawing, and unique classes to PNCA such as Time Arts. Time Arts covers time-based media such as video, sound, animation, and performance-based work. This year is for you to play, explore, and experiment so that in your sophomore year, when it, come time, when it comes time to claim your major, you'll be confident in what you want to study. Once you've decided on your major, know that that won't fix you to one department. One of our core objectives for our faculty at PNCA is to help build a well-rounded and interdisciplinary art practice. So we'll go over all of our majors now but know that all of our students have access to all of the facilities during their time at PNCA and can take classes in any major as studio electives if they wish. So up first is our sculpture program and our sculpture program covers a wide range of sculptural methods, including standalone objects, site specific works, multiples, installations, sculptural interventions, performance, and any hybrid form of three dimensional engagement you can think of. Our sculpture department is located in the glass building just 10 minutes from campus. And it's called the glass building because the facilities are all housed within an old glass factory. And as you can see, our students within the sculpture department create in a variety of ways, from textile-based soft sculpture to usable wares and ceramics that you can see on the left. The glass building has a wood shop, a metal shop, an extensive ceramic studio, and here you can get a better sense of the building's interior and how it resembles an industrial cathedral in many ways. And glass also houses our industrial textile facilities, and the space also holds a gallery and some of our MFA private studios. Our printmaking facilities are one of the largest on the west side of the United States. 
Printmaking is a very old form used in many industries today. It's how we were able to make multiples before copiers existed. Within our printmaking facilities, we have lithography, letterpress, intaglio, relief, and screen printing. And we also offer other tools and techniques in printmaking, such as using a risograph printer to produce zines. We also offer other tools and techniques in printmaking, such as using a risograph printer in order to produce zines. We have equipment to make your own paper, guillotines, binding machines, and board chairs to teach you varying bookmaking techniques. And we offer a publishing course that collaborates well with our creative writing and graphic design departments. And we can teach our students how to print repeat patterns on large stretches of fabric, which lends itself well to our fashion liner. Painting is definitely one of our more traditional majors, but it's no exception to the emphasis on experimentation and cross-pollination that takes place at PNCA. One way this is highlighted is by the fact that painting majors have the most elective options out of all the majors. So even within a medium that's been practiced by artists for hundreds of years, our students are still encouraged to constantly push those boundaries. One example of that would be the image on the right where a student for her senior thesis drove from LA to Portland collecting materials um, of mineral samples and ultimately turned those minerals into pigments and turned those pigments into paintings. And here you can get a better sense of the different technical styles that we encourage at PNCA. There's definitely traditional forms as well as abstract forms of painting. Our general fine arts major are for students who want an even more interdisciplinary experience than our other curriculum already offers. In this major, you'll work with your department head to build your curriculum. General fine arts is really rooted in both skill and process, helping students to create a diverse, set of skills to match interests. Our creative writing program is unique in that it still retains the studio emphasis that you see in our other majors, but because we are a visual arts institution, our creative writing program does encourage students to explore that intersection between contemporary art and writing. And because it is studio-based, this means that the aesthetic properties and the presentation of the writing is taken into consideration along with the writing itself. And we emphasize different types of writing in this program, such as prose, poetry, script writing, and experimental writing. And as you can see from the student work here, the visual aspect is just as important as the writing. Our illustration major is one of our two majors that are considered client-based, and our illustration students often push the boundaries of what illustration can really be, using everything from our Cintiq Wacom ta tablets on campus to our textile facilities. Illustration students gain the knowledge and tools to create both conceptual and fine art work while creating product-based work as well. Students in our illustration program often leave school with a client base already started. Animated arts is one of our most popular majors. Portland, Oregon and Bristol, England are two international hubs for experimental animation and we have many different connections in Portland because of this. We have a number of independent studios in Portland such as Leica with works like Coraline, Kubo and the Two Strings and Box Trolls. We also have Bent Image Lab which is a commercial studio with a portfolio that includes work for Honda, Cartoon Network and Samsung. We also have Shadow Machine here in Portland, which is currently doing work for Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, but in the past have done work for the Netflix series BoJack Horseman. So the kind of animation we're doing at PNCA reflects the animation that we're surrounded by. It's not gonna be like the animation coming out of Disney or Pixar. And as far as facilities go, we have a number of studios dedicated to both 2D and 3D animation. And here you can see a close-up of a stop motion animation figure. Our graphic design major is our other major that's considered client-based. This is one of our only majors that we require you take an internship while at PNCA so that you really gain an understanding of that client and artist relationship. Graphic design students will take classes in typography, web design, branding, while learning from and working with professionals in the industry. Again, like illustration students, they will learn to make both conceptual and product-based work. Intermedia is very similar to our general fine arts program in that you design your own curriculum from classes within Intermedia as well as other majors offered at PNCA. The difference between the two is that GFA is studio based, whereas Intermedia takes greater emphasis on theory and concept. 
By exploring emerging technologies, ideas, as well as traditional techniques, our students in Intermedia explore new applications of broad cultural perspectives, critical inquiries, as well as media, theory, and practice. Our photography major teaches both digital and analog ways of working. We have facilities to shoot large scale behind a green screen and an infinity wall, a digital print studio to develop film, print small and large scale, test color accuracy, print transparencies, and capability to do some digital printing on fabric. We also have a documentation studio where students can make appointments with our professional photographers to receive beautifully edited website ready images of their work. However, photo students often use the space independently as well. We have a large dark room for you to develop your images as well as teach experimental approaches to photography. It is really well suited for students pursuing any career in photography from commercial to a fine arts approach. Our video and sound department investigates the relationship between moving images and sound. This is PNCA's time-based major. It's also the closest thing we have to a film production major. Students work across music video, experimental video, documentary, experimental sound art, and much more. We also partner with the Northwest Film Center, which provides our students with the technical and traditional film courses um, if they are interested. And we also offer eight minors in art and ecology, art history, ceramics, creative writing, drawing, fashion, game, and graphic design. It won't cost you anything additional to add on this additional minor, but rather you will tailor some of your studio electives toward this second interest. We also have an international program at PNCA. Our international office works with students studying at PNCA internationally, but also works with students who would like to study abroad. We offer summer and full semester long study abroad programs and have strong relationships with schools around the world for students to study. This is a really accessible resource for students and our international office helps you find the resources that you need to be able to attend, such as grants and additional scholarships to make it an affordable trip. We're also a part of the ACAD exchange program. Our ACAD exchange program means that you can choose to spend a term at another ACAD school. And I really believe that being able to see new places and travel is a fantastic gain to your art making practice. Every semester, PNCA takes a break from classes to have what we call a focus week. And it's basically a time for our seniors to either propose their final thesis or defend it. It's great because it's an opportunity as an underclassman to see what your peers have been working on and a great time to get ideas for your own thesis. Ultimately, it's gonna be a culmination of your time here at PNCA and your springboard of sorts from student to professional artist and designer. You have an advisor of your choice to help you with the project. And that's going to be a faculty member who'll work with you in a mentorship capacity to really see your work come into fruition. Critique is a large part of your education at PNCA. At the end of each project, students and faculty gather together to critically discuss the work that's been created. This is an invaluable experience which pushes our students to grow as artists and designers. Every student is paired with a faculty member during their foundation year to meet with on a regular basis and will continue to work with professors as mentors throughout their time at PNCA. They help to make sure that you're on track to graduate, as well as answer questions and offer feedback and advice. All of our faculty members are practicing artists represented in galleries or working within the arts locally, nationally, and internationally. Our students connect with our faculty through our mentorship program and after graduating, as resources to help connect to the wider professional communities. Now, if you're not from Portland, here are some images to share a little bit about the area. We are surrounded by a lot of natural beauty and we have the Columbia Gorge and Mount Hood within a couple hours from downtown. We're also known for our parks, hiking trails and bike trails. And Portland is a small city with big city resources. For example, most performing arts on tour will stop in Portland because we have really wonderful venues such as the center image here, the Schnitzer Performance Hall. And Portlanders really support the performing arts. Lastly, we're known for our food trucks. There are hundreds of food options around the city with really quirky and unique setups. If you're back at the main campus looking at the building head on, this is your view to the right. This is called North Park Blocks and it spans for four blocks. And on the other side is Art House, our first year of student housing. Art House is less than a five minute walk from campus and these dorms are better described as apartments. 
Each unit is fully furnished with a full kitchen, washer and dryer in every unit and a bathroom in every unit. You can choose to live in a shared studio, one bedroom, two bedroom or three bedroom apartment and the price of the unit varies on the living situation you choose. You're also within a short walking distance of Powell's, the world's largest independent bookstore, as well as our famous Voodoo Donuts. PNCA's clubs are student run and we have a lot of options to choose from. Here are a few, and you can see that some relate to our majors while others don't. If you have any interest that is not represented here, you can head on over to Student Life to get funding to get that club started. This is gonna be a really great way to connect with your classmates over common interests you all have. The Pearl, where PNCA is located, is a vibrant arts community with about 30 galleries and studios represented in the neighborhood. In fact, there is a commonly told story that our district is called the Pearl because we were described to be a treasured spot for creative minds in the area. Alongside the galleries in the area, PNCA and our students participate in the Pearl District Art Walk each first Thursday of every month. This is a great networking opportunity for our students. So attending PNCA isn't just a creative choice because we are an art and design school, but also because of where we're located and what industries are represented here. Make Think Co. lives inside of our main campus and is a lab dedicated to connecting new media with the fine art world. In this space, you will have the opportunity to take workshops in creative coding and work with our VR and augmented reality equipment, 3D printers, wood laser cutters, vinyl cutters, and more. The PNCA library is a really unique place. We offer a very well curated and extensive library collection in order for you to do your research, upward of 40,000 books. We are a research and concept based school, so we ask you to write a lot about why you're making what you're making. In order to help you with that, we also pay for subscriptions to credible databases. We are part of the World Catalog, which means if we do not have a resource, we can get it for you. We have an academic support system on campus to meet with you to help you come up with research topic ideas, proofread your paper, help you cite your sources correctly, and anything else you might need to help you with your writing. And we do have a really fantastic rare books collection that you can request to see by appointment. Our media tech is a space reserved for visiting artists and weekly lectures from designers in varying professional industries and performances. There's also a space for our students to use. There's about a million dollars worth of lighting, sound, and recording equipment wired throughout the space. And the paint in the room is all high-vis paint, meaning that you can do video projection directly onto the walls. So if you're a digital artist, this is a really wonderful way to showcase your work. To set our students up for successful careers in the arts after graduation, we have the Bridge Lab Career Services on campus to connect students with the resources they need and help them build professional skills and offer networking and skill building opportunities. So these are a few services we offer. On the right, you can see that the Bridge Lab Career Services will help you from helping you file your taxes as an artist to negotiating contracts to running through your CV. And on the left, you can see a list of internships where some of our students have interned at before. More often than not, these internships lead to jobs. Here we have a list of just a few different career paths that some of our alumni have gone on to pursue. We've seen graduates go on to work as senior designers, art directors, and project managers. Some have pursued graduate studies in renowned institutions, and others have started their own businesses after graduation. There are a lot of options out there for art and design majors. If you're between 14 and 18 years old, you can also take advantage of our summer foundation intensive, i.e. our pre-college program. You'll get a preview of what college is like to a degree, gain familiarity with the school, staff, and faculty, build a portfolio for when it comes time to apply, and in some cases, get college credit toward your foundation year. Our application is free and it's very straightforward. It doesn't cost you anything to put in the work to apply to PNCA and see what you might be offered. Our main focus is going to be your visual portfolio. We will ask you for 10 to 15 examples of your strongest and most recent work to be uploaded to your application. This is your visual portfolio and makes up the bulk of your application. Typically, your strongest work is gonna be the work that you're most excited about. However, if you are unsure, remember your admissions counselor. Counselors are here to help. That's gonna be either me or Rebecca or one of our wonderful six colleagues. 
In addition, we will ask you to upload your unofficial transcripts and fill out some basic contact information. Lastly, you will have the option to write an essay. This is an artist statement where you'll have the opportunity to share who you are as an artist, why you make the work that you make, and relate it directly back to the portfolio you provided. Although it's optional, it's strongly recommended, and that's it. We don't have an SAT or ACT requirement. Every student admitted to PNCA will receive a merit scholarship between $10,000 to $20,000. That's going to be renewable for up to five years. Although our degree only takes four, we do have that blanket policy to ensure that students who do need extra time have, the, have their resources available. In addition, students who apply by the early application deadline will automatically receive an additional $1,000 scholarship, and those are for students to apply by December 15th. And we also have the competitive juried merit scholarships, and all students who apply by January 31st and fill out their FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, will be considered for the additional juried scholarship. We also have the Equity Scholarship, and that's going to be geared toward our incoming Black, Indigenous, and students of color. And those, app those scholarships are going to range from $5,000 a year to full tuition coverage, again, renewable for up to five years. If you're interested in this Equity Scholarship, be sure to reach out to your admissions counselor, and we can send you the separate application for the Equity Scholarship. And last but not least is grant assistance, and this is going to be awarded based on demonstrated financial need, either through the FAFSA or the CSS profile or the EFC calculator. The average student is going to pay less than half the tuition rate once all the aid is applied. We always encourage every student to fill out a FAFSA as well. This is a free process and unlocks a lot of financial opportunities such as grants that you do not have to pay back, work-study access, which is a service that allows you to work part-time on campus while attending school, and loan options at a much lower interest rate than you can find elsewhere. A lot of our juried scholarships and need-based grants rely on whether or not you filled this out, so it cannot hurt you, it can only help you, regardless of your financial background. We also recognize that not every student has the ability to fill out a FAFSA, and we have resources available to work in lieu of that. First, international students can fill out the CSS profile, and undocumented students can use the Big Future ESC calculator. This will help our team understand your financial need and give you the opportunities that we can offer. The last two links are additional scholarship search resources for immigrant and undocumented students. The National Portfolio Day Association has made the decision to move all of their events online for the upcoming season. These free virtual events uh, make it possible for you to receive feedback on your work from over 90 institutions, including PNCA. And you can register online at nationalportfolioday.org. And that's it. These are some useful Instagram handles that you can follow if you would like to connect more with PNCA. And you can always contact us at admissions at pnca.edu to be connected with your admissions counselor. Thank you.